What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Endorse 365. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, this channel, Grow Endorse 365, is all about indoor growing. Primarily focused on things that do not require pollination, but there's always experiments that I'm willing to do for you guys and for myself to learn more, to be self-sustaining, to be able to have fresh vegetables that's pesticide free, grown indoors under artificial light. This is what it's all about. Allowing me to show you growing food from seed to plant. By the way, if you're new to the channel again, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. This way you get notified every single time I upload a video, which could be every week or even twice a week. So we're gonna go in today just to show you a little bit of what I have, what I've been doing in the past week and a half or so. And I'm gonna tell you some of the things that we have upcoming. So make sure to share this video also with anybody that you feel might benefit from it or someone that's looking into or interested in indoor hydroponic growing. Let's take a look inside and uh, let me talk about a little bit about uh, what we have going on. Well, let's talk a little bit about what we have going on. There, uh, um, there's a lot going on, there's very little going on. But the good thing is, because there's very little going on, there's so much exciting things coming up. That's what I'm looking forward. And I'm gonna play it a little differently. I am not going any, I'm not, no longer going to be mix matching tubs. For example, I'm not gonna put basil and herb together with lettuce. All right, I think it's time to take it to the next level. I'm not sure what that next level is, but I really wish I had a confined room. By the way, if you're new to the channel or if you are a a diehard Grow Indoors 365 fan, make sure to hit the links down below for everything that you need for all your indoor growing needs. This is what I currently have going on on the top tier of this specific reservoir. I'm not even kidding guys, I think, I think there's going to be a time in the next several months where I'm going to take my entire setup just like this and take it completely out of the tent. The tent is important to maintain the temperature, humidity, overall temperature. The biggest issue that I'm going to have here in my basement is the fact that it runs very cool. That is going to be an issue for me. I've never done it before differently, so I don't know what the results will be. But I kind of like the feel of having something just like this, but open in an open atmosphere. This way I could have this, this setup, this tier, these tier levels just like this, just going this way, and then I could have another one going this way, then I could produce double the amount of lettuce. So that's what I'm looking to do. I think it's gonna be really great just to have that open concept. One of my shelving stations here, and another station here, and I mean I could just run down the entire perimeter with it. I could really capitalize on the amount of room and really take the yield, you know, for the space that I have here. It's really important to maximize that yield. So I'm gonna be doing it very differently. I'm no longer really gonna let my lettuce grow this big. Never again will I allow it to get this big. And uh, hopefully I stick to those words. But I'm really looking to minimize the amount of lettuce that just overgrows. It just, it doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. Once it gets to this size, I don't even want to eat it. It's still extremely edible. It's actually beautiful. It looks phenomenal. The more this lettuce gets light, the darker the leaves get. And it's nice. I could still consume a nice, I could still consume several salads from what I have here. But the whole point is to eat it while it's a little younger, a little smaller. It'll be way more tasty, and I feel like I won't get into this, this situation where there's just an overgrow of lettuce, which just does not work. Basil, I don't know how much more basil I really want to grow. It's not something that I consume as often as I feel. I feel like a lot of times I'm more, you know, I really enjoy a large consumption of salad, in which case that's what I'm growing, and that's what I enjoy growing indoors because I eat a lot of salad. I like going downstairs, taking some fresh er, uh, taking some fresh salad instead of going to the supermarket and seeing overgrown or overpriced heads of lettuce that have that have gnats or flies inside, organic or not. I mean, that's a whole different story, but it's all about just number one, self-sustaining your own grow, uh, allowing yourself mentally to just allow this 
you know, this becomes your baby. This becomes your child, allowing it to grow from seed. Seeing that development is just a wonderful for just overall mental clarity. I mean, I love seeing the development process and I love sharing that development process with you guys. So this is really what I have up on the top here. Uh, I already have some new seed germinating. I think we're gonna focus really primarily on the focus of names. And I think we're gonna just do different types of lettuces. And I think it's gonna be exciting and there's gonna be different tubs for herbs too. But I really wanna focus on lettuce. I wish I could focus on a lot of other different vegetables. I love celery, I love cucumber, I love tomato, I love zucchini, I love eggplant, but those things you cannot grow indoors. There's gonna be some small areas. I might have a tent, which is gonna be like the experimental tent. And I could give, I could provide like frequent updates on that and we could try different things. But I really feel like on my weekly updates that I provide to you guys, it's really gonna be really focused on vegetables that you could grow fast to feed your family in the time of need and there's really the 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 the, the fail rate is extremely small that's also really important it's also really important you need one shelf one reservoir or a few reservoirs at least three this way you have an ongoing cycle of lettuce that you can maintain for at least yourself, your family, or you know, one to two, three, or, or three people, or four people. Okay, I think that's very sustainable. Now, coming down here, you'll notice everything is empty. I cleared it all out. I ate some of that kale, munched that up, and a couple other things here. And now all this has to be cleaned out, freshened up, and ready to go for some new stuff. But if you could take a closer look here, and I'm gonna take you guys outside just for one quick second. I know you guys don't love seeing my outdoor grow, but I'm gonna just show you guys. I know this is Grow Indoors 365, which it is. But for you diehard fans out there of, of, of just my channel period, I just wanna show you what I have going on and what I'm focusing on. So these six right here, this is all broccoli. So I'm uh, germinated from seed. And this is the current status of things. It's actually looking quite nice. I'm actually pretty excited, really watering these guys well. And then right here, I have something interesting. I had a seed and thank God it sprouted. This is a hybrid cucumber that does not require pollination. Uh, it, I actually just transplanted this into the dirt. I'm praying, I'm hoping that it takes to this dirt uh, I'm gonna water this tonight. I'll also water these again tonight, these little seedlings. Uh, so three out of the six are looking good. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. This one might be good. This stem over here looks nice, but the head hasn't uh, developed yet. And this one's just kind of hidden in the dirt. So that's what's going on right here. So let's take a quick look at the tomatoes. The tomatoes are looking pretty good in here. But it's also so much to consider. Like, where do I go from here? You know, I'll, these are definitely growing, okay? I mean, if you could take a look, if I was actually to, you know, put them up on some sort of string, which I still am concerned with putting up with string, and then you have the light, uh, it's a bit of a hazard. So I'm gonna have to get some sort of stick to kind of hold it up, but I'm not sure really how to affix that stick to this reservoir or, or I don't know what to do, but this plant is getting nice and, and big. I mean, it's developing, it's looking clean. The leaf system looks really nice. The root system looks great. There's just beautiful little nodes everywhere. I mean, it looks really good. It looks really healthy. And so, same goes for these two plants. I mean, they're kind of, I don't know, I've never grown. To, first of all, I've never grown tomatoes from seed. That's number one, okay? Number two, I've never grown indoor, hydroponically indoors. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of things online, and um, there are certain people that have made an effort, and they've succeeded on growing indoor hydroponically for tomatoes specifically, but I feel like their overall plants are much smaller, and they have a different space than this, and a lot of indoor gardening, even hydroponics, is actually done outdoors, though it's done in a, like a greenhouse type of atmosphere. So it's not in your basement and it's got a lot more room and the pots are actually just much larger. It's something to really look into, but this is the current setup as you can see here. The plants are really large, they're getting really big. 
and uh, I'm just starting to think like where do we go from here if you've ever grown indoor hydroponics uh, tomatoes or anything else besides lettuce or herbs please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you've grown anyway you've seen the tomatoes this is them you've seen the current uh, large tent setup this is that and you got some of those things out there. Hopefully they'll be transitioning outdoors very soon. But let's take a quick jump outside. And I'll let you take a look at what's going on literally for one quick second. And then I'll let you guys go to enjoy the rest of your weekend. This is being taped on a Sunday. Tomorrow's the new week. A lot of things going on in the world, guys. Keep safe, please. Keep safe. Keep your family safe. Keep yourself safe in every possible way. This is it. Let's head outside real quick. All right, guys, this is my backyard right now. Grass is looking nice and green. So check check it out. Uh, I'm gonna go real quick. I don't wanna take any, mu any more of your time. I know you guys are busy. Hopefully you're gonna have a, you're planning for a very productive uh, week. As you can see here, I have two large tomato plants. These are actually from my indoor grow, and these actually are still alive, and they're doing pretty good. So thank God for that. I got two watermelons going right here. Take a look right there. They're looking pretty nice and healthy. I like how they look. And I got these four tomatoes right here. And that's really it. That's all I want to show you guys. All right, I actually just bought a little bit of feeder for these guys, and hopefully they'll really enjoy being fed. And that's really all I wanted to show you guys, all right? Hey, again, this is Mike with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new. Make sure to share and make sure to hit the links down below if you're interested in learning more about growing indoors and getting a setup just like I do. And make sure to visit us at growindoors365.com as well as facebook.com, growindoors365. I look forward to talking with you. Enjoy your grow.